de ellas estamos transmitiendo de Camacol de en el segundo congreso de los hemisferios y tengo conmigo a un invitado de lujo uh, that I have the honor to interview sorry to change in English because he is from originally from which country Egypt. from Egypt and can you repeat me your name please Abdul Latif be there and Mr Abdullah is giving us this this interview uh, because it's one of the most interesting people that I ever interview or have the opportunity to, to meet in person. You are the man behind with a group of sci scientific engineers uh, behind the name of your company, which is a startup company from Silicon Valley. And you just gave me the most amazing news for my Latino community. Can you tell us a little bit about what you were mentioning before about your company sure. in Miami? Sure. So the reason we came here to Miami, um, we see a lot of innovative kids, a lot of uh, potential uh, that we can really change uh, the way uh, Miami is right now. We're trying to do the Silicon Beach, that's what we tried to say. So Silicon Valley, but with tourism and beaches, becomes Silicon Beach. So that good innovation and that good technology for the kids and for adults as well. So hub entities are, we have hub solutions, hub academy, we have also hub co-working, which we incubate or co-work, offer co-working spaces for different startups. So they can come, spend a year, for example, we match them with the right mentors, we match them with the right investors to really give them that push they need to launch their own startup. So this is one of them. The second thing is Hub Academy, where we educate young from like starting from five years old to 16 years old, robotics, 3D printing, programming, virtual reality, and mind controlling sensors to be able to evolve, to be able to innovate at such young age. So when they become like 15 or, or 16 years old, they already have their own startup. Well, you are a genius yourself. And one of my, my next question, which I believe every mother out there will be interested in knowing is, when did you find out that you could do all these things, that you can visualize the future uh, and you can implement new things and develop new technologies? Uh, it was very early. When I was like 12 years old, I can tell you, um, I really believe that every kid have a special thing and every young uh, uh, kid is an entrepreneur, but he doesn't know it yet. You, you just have to give them the right tools, the right exposure, uh, you have to give them that support that they need and to have something like Hub that we uh, also provide all these tools for all these kids like robotics and 3D printing and all these very good cutting edge technology. So when you give them that exposure at very, you know, such young age, what do you think they will do when they're like 15 or, or 19? <laughs> they have to build them, they have to change the world, you know. So that's what our target is. So we don't only focus like others on adults only. We have co-working spaces and incubation programs for adults, but we also uh, focus also on the education for the young uh, uh, people, starting from five to 16 years old, to have their own startups when they grow up. And it's incredible to have you as a, as a non-national, uh, non-American citizen to come all over from your country yes. to, to do what you dream about yes. doing and now changing the life of many kids because you are going to be doing that, just yes. that. I believe that uh, the U.S. is the place where all the countries meet and it's, uh, I, I believe America is the hub, right? where all the, 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 the skilled people believe that they can make a change. It, they could do it here. They have a lot of difficulties doing it back home or in, in their home country. So they believe that their dreams can become true here at the US. So we don't just do business to make money. No, we do this business or hub in general to support other businesses. And this is really our goal. Who came up with the idea of the hub? Uh, it's all three of us. Uh, we really believe in it. We, uh, this is our mission. These are the, our values. We, we, you know, we dream to, to leave that legacy to support all those young people and adults that have ideas or startups they want to launch. You are incredibly brave and I thank, thank you. you. Um, I give you a thanks from, from my community, from the mothers out there that are having talented kids, um, sometimes without opportunities and you guys are coming to make the difference in this society and I really thank you for being so brave and, and futuristic in the way you think 
about our communities. Excellent. And I, I have Daniel here, which uh, I'm sure she's interested as a mother also to, to ask you a couple of questions, sure. Daniel. Well, first of all, I would like to congratulate you on this amazing, this, I put it on and there's a whole new world inside of those goggles. You would not believe it. You will have to try to sure. see what I'm yeah, talking it's about. Okay. It's so sensitive to every move you do, it goes with you and you feel it and you literally, it feels like you're in a whole bigger space just by putting on those goggles. So congratulations. You know, we've put on the shirt because we live do, yes. We, it's, we. Li it's live happy, <laughs> love what you do, work beyond your limits. It's, it's <laughs> incredible. And um, I want to highlight some things that you have said. Yes. You said kids from five to 16 can yes. start up their own company basically with their own product that's amazing you're giving you're opening up this opportunity to kids to not only start dreaming but actually attaining that dream it's it's incredible um, I can tell you this one of our sharpest kid that we have he's like 10 years old I think uh, we have this program is like unique minds uh, it's actually we explore the kids mentality or the kids skills and we try to find what they are good at and he's really good at like very good at virtual reality so we were discussing the mind controlling sensor and he came to me he said remember the movie the matrix i told him okay he told me i want to build that i want to do it for real merging between mind controlling sensor and virtual reality where you can dive into your dream without even moving and this is a 10 year old and he couldn't get this idea without actually seeing something and and not just seeing in TV, okay. to actually experience it, to, to, to go through this experience and to visualize it, is, it's another story. Wow. And tell us a little bit about the space you have these kids. What, what does it look like? Can you describe it to so, us? Hub is a co-working incubation uh, uh, space. So we host startups and we also have different workshops room. So anyone that want to work off an open space or have a private office, we have all that. And for the kids, we have very safe areas and environments that they can work at. We follow all these measures, following the kids' uh, uh, safety and so on. But I want to tell you this. Once they come to Hub, whether they're 5, 10, whatever their age is, they work as professional. You see six years old walking as professional. Oh, I have this class now. I, and they're very, very excited. And they tell their parents, I don't want to leave. I want to stay here. So their kid, you know, their parents, you know, grab them to home, but they don't want to leave home. How many you know? hours are they there? Okay, so Unique Minds uh, is a every Saturday program. They come from nine and they leave at five. So all the meals, snacks, whatever is, is included, we give them uh, uh, science and technology like robotics, 3D printing, virtual reality, programming. We also give them business development, so they learn about business planning, budgeting, all these uh, very interesting okay. subjects. We also give them art, and we have a fitness trainer. So all on one, right, as you can call it. Wow. So we have a UFC fighter that happened to be a personal trainer, and he's also do their nutrition, so he's also very good at nutrition, and personal training. So they get to do all the sports, science and technology, business development, and we actually do yoga as well. And when are we going to have this facility here in Miami? So tomorrow is our opening, June 8th at 5 p.m. This is the official opening and June 13th is our summer camp, the first summer camp to happen here with all these excitement things. It's a two-week program. All what I discussed to you guys or explained to you guys is going to be included into this. And for the first time, because it's the first time we have this 50% 50, uh, 50 off because it's a special thing. So instead of doing an advertisement, we're spending on the kids and all their equipments and uh, the requests we're gonna have. How many kids can you take? Uh, we have two different workshops room. So each one can take up to 20, but we're very limited to who we're gonna be you know, accepted. They have to be very committed because we're gonna be spending or investing money on them because we're hoping by the end of this project, they have their own startup. That's our goal. Wow, that is just amazing. I Thank can't you. wait to see what will be invented right in our backyards from children like 
you kids at home that are watching with mom and it's it's just really really amazing what you guys are starting up one last question before I pass it it's so incredible when, when we get together with a brilliant mind it, it, it's you know things just starts to come out uh, what would you tell the kids at home who may be someplace not near Miami or uh, Silicon Valley, uh, what is the Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley that they can do to keep um, inventing, to keep creating, what would be... They're not here in Miami, right? If they are not here. Okay, so we tell them, don't worry, we're going to be at your location very soon. <laughs> we're going to be coming to you very soon. But tell them we have Hub Academy. So all of what I explained to you guys, we're going to be doing online courses as well that they can subscribe to it and see everything happening. But I can tell you this, and I'm very honest, it's never like the actual experience. But we'll do our best to send our messages all over the world. So keep checking until they come to you. And I'm actually, I wonder if you take adults. I would love sure. to try. Sure, we take adults well. <laughs> At least just to take a look and see what the kids are creating. It's really, really special what you're starting. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. And just to close the note, which I'm very pleased and privileged to to be able to encounter in this uh, summit, is that uh, I would like to invite the Latino community, which I know there are many, many kids out there with lots of dreams, with lots of hopes and a, a desire to continue and develop their their way of thinking towards technology. And I will, I will definitely love for you to, to give them the invitation to start researching about these new opportunities because that will affect our community greatly and you guys are making an incredible, an incredible opportunity for the Latino community as well. Thank you. I, uh, I would like to say for all the Latino community that your kids are very, very innovative. You just have to give them the opportunity, give them the right tools. They will have and make the biggest and top startups in the world. So not just the US, just give them the right tools in the right time. Start early, very important thing. You have to start early with the kids. Five years old to 16 year old is the best time where they take all these resources and experience. If you waste that time, this is crucial to us. So you have to be investing in them, not just money, resources, and believe in them. They can make it happen. Absolutely. Thank you so much for this interview and once again for ellas de mujer a mujer it is a pleasure to have this amazing man in front of us uh, telling us this great news for the community.